So I'm here with Leah from Destination British Columbia. Leah, you just gave a great presentation about getting visitors to share um, more content through their own channels. Um, so can you sort of give us the, the, the summary of what you just talked about? Sure. Um, this June, we launched a campaign around the hashtag ExploreBC. So our goal was to get on the ground visitors to start sharing. Uh, so we did this in a variety of ways. We uh, found them online using um, tools like WorldCam and Hootsuite, and we found people using other hashtags, encouraged them to use ours. Um, we did some offline tactics like surprise and delight. Uh, we got industry involved and actually created point of sale kits that we uh, gave them the ability to order and distribute to their own guests. Uh, we actually went and found visitors at uh, some of our tourism attractions and uh, printed their photos to take home with them as memories if they use the hashtag. Um, yeah, and we were really surprised by the, the results and how, how eager people were to share and to talk to us about their experiences. Yeah, you gave some. You gave some good. You gave sort of the the, the hard numbers as results, but um, but also sort of the um, the qualitative, like the anecdotal stories that really I think brought it to life. I, I actually heard a few people in the audience go, "Oh, <laughs> so can, you maybe, can you maybe share a story of two or of the impact that just as a destination to reach out, what that can have?" Yeah, I mean, I think. Um, uh, you know, the point I really tried to get across is that it's not uh, about it's not about quantity of conversations. It's about quality, and you kind of need to look for the opportunities to provide value because otherwise, there's really no point in reaching out, especially if you have you know limited resources. You want to focus your efforts on situations where you can provide people with value and you can genuinely connect with them and and improve their trip while they're still in the destination. Um, so yeah, we had I mean. We have a bunch of examples of people that we, uh, you know, had kind of made a relationship with just over social media while they were visiting BC, and they kind of rewarded us back. We gave them value, and then they gave us back, you know, these amazing stories and this amazing content, and you know, promised us that they'll be back again and they'll they'll share again. And so, you know, for me, that's really the that really defines the success of the campaign. The numbers kind of show the the bigger impact, but the the stories and the individual conversations and you know these advocates that we were able to create over the summer, that's kind of the you know the key core of the campaign. Yeah, I really like what you said about influences versus advocates. Mm -hmm. And that, you know, a lot of DMOs are really focusing on, you know, influencers, big reach and what have you. Yeah. But you know, like can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, I mean I think obviously um, I think it, the rise of Instagram has had a big impact on that, but we have these um, influencers that have kind of appeared on the scene, um, especially in that channel. And uh, a lot of uh, destination marketing organizations are, are focusing on, or focusing the majority of their efforts or the majority of their budget on hosting or connecting with those people, which is an important part of the marketing plan. But, um, you know, somebody who's just a regular person who's visiting who has 50 or 100 followers on Instagram is going to provide just as much value in terms of word of mouth marketing and potentially even more because their followers are their friends and family and people that are really invested in their opinions. Um, you know, they're going to provide just as much value as somebody who has, you know, 100,000 followers because they post nice photos. Mm -hmm. So I think it's about recognizing that the measures of success have changed a little bit um, and you know like Joyce from Skiff talked about it's not purely about how many followers you have that's really kind of like a an old school measurement of success for social media now it's about you know actual people who are talking about your destination and that doesn't necessarily have to be influencers and it's not just about reach mm -hmm. I think that's another important thing to think about as well yeah 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 the uh, a, a bunch of great learning came out of it, but one of them was also sort of organizationally. And you talked a little bit about how you got the organization to a point where they would actually invest in something that is probably you know, counterintuitive to traditional mm -hmm. thinking. So how, how did you get to that point where they would actually buy in? Well, I think it's really about, I mean, similar to 
the campaign itself, which focused on these individual conversations, it's it's kind of about the the small wins. It's about you know those that that ground that you continuously kind of build upon. So you you do a small campaign and then you track it and then you show the results and you show the examples of of how the kind of interactions that you're able to have. Then you gain a little bit of ground. You maybe gain a little bit of budget, um, and then you keep building upon that and just keep keep talking about and keep showing the value of what you're doing. Because I think, yeah, I mean, like I said in, in the presentation, I think we didn't do that as much as we could have at the beginning. And um, yeah, so just make sure that you show other people in the organization what you're doing because a lot of times they have no idea. They're like, oh yeah, they're on Twitter, they're on Facebook, they're chatting, but they don't actually realize the, the kind of value of these conversations that we're having. Yeah. Like they see it as okay, check. We did. We, yeah. We're doing this, but we tweeted we about do? the campaign. It's done. Yeah. yeah. You need to. You need to make sure that it's just the the, the real numbers plus the anecdotal that sort of. Yeah. It tells the whole time. story. Yeah. 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 Okay. Then then um, you introduced a, a new term that I think is now going oh, to be no. adopted. <laughs> which one? <laughs> which, is, which is the light creep. Oh, okay. Yeah. Can you please de give us the <laughs> definition of the light creep? <laughs> Okay, so a light creep I would define as, you know, you do a scan, you click through on a couple of photos, you look for a theme, and then you can pull out kind of an assumption about that person because, you know, usually people's online presence is a reflection of at least some aspect of their personality. Um, so yeah, it's a light creep. It's not a, you take an hour and you find out what their kids' names are. It's, you know, you find out, yeah, they're into beer or they're into mountain climbing or whatever it is and then you you use that knowledge to help provide them with value and people appreciate that yeah um, so th this is your second time at so is it it's my third time third time yeah nice um, so what do you think uh, of the conference so far I think it's great I mean Nashville seems awesome I haven't really had a chance to explore it yet I'm super excited to do so tonight and the venue is amazing I really like that it was taken out of the traditional kind of hotel context. Um, I think it fits with the destination perfectly, and I think it kind of, I don't know, I think for me at least it inspires a little bit more enthusiasm and creativity because it's in this really interesting yeah, space. It's, it's not in a dull conference exactly. room somewhere. Yeah, and I, and I think the, you know, the speaker lineup is great, and I think it's good how it's kind of going from the really big picture and kind of slowly narrowing it down where tomorrow we start getting into some of the really tactical stuff and I think it's good because it provides value to, to all of the organizations that are here.